In one week, our daughter Lily turned seven. She asked us for a toy cabin, and out of our irrational yet stupid optimism, we decided to build it from scratch rather than buying a kit like normal parents do. It took us two days with our carpenter friend Benoit to finish the wooden frame. It looks great, but considering the sheer size of that thing, I believe we might have been, once again, overambitious. After last week's video, a lot of people asked us, why do you have so tiny legs on a heavy house like this? It's gonna collapse, it's gonna fall on your kids, they're gonna lose an arm and a leg and you will end your life in misery. Of course, that wasn't the plan. We are professionals after all, me and Benoit, especially me, and we knew that these legs are too tiny. But what we didn't know is if we are happy with the position of this house. Now we know it's fine here, it's not gonna move. And so we're gonna create bigger, stronger legs and also make some tiny concrete foundations. And because health and safety is my second name, I wear gloves. That was a mossy. There has been a small problem and the less honest YouTuber will just cut it out. I bought a mortar instead of a concrete mix. So I had to go back to the shop and get some extra gravel and if you mix the mortar with the gravel, it becomes concrete. Ah, rien du tout, on est en train de faire euh, du fait que tu nous as fait faire une petite modification, mais toute petite. Hein. C'est-à-dire euh, Comme on, on fait un toit en ardoise. Ah oui, c'est une bonne nouvelle. Du, ouais, mais le problème, c'est que c'est pas du tout la même charpente. Oui, mais c'est pas ma faute. C'est la nature des choses, on va dire. Mais c'est des choses que tu devrais réfléchir avant. Donc maintenant, on est obligé de faire quelques modifications. Les sablières, faut qu'on les fasse dépasser davantage pour que ça, sort, ça, ça fasse comme le fêtage. Oui. Donc les pannes sont là, on les a récupérées, donc, mais il faut faire des corbeaux pour les maintenir, pour mettre des chevrons. Tu as réussi à faire une phrase où il y a au moins cinq mots que je comprends pas. So I've got two days now to try to decorate the cabin and find things to put in it to make it look really cozy and cute. We just finished the cladding of the roof with Benoit and Atom. And look who's here, Anthony. He's an excellent roofer and a good friend. And we decided we went so far with this project, it would be a pity to put a plastic roof on. And he loved the project and he said he's gonna do it in late for us, for a very good price. It's gonna become a truly amazing cabin. Ça se coupe comme du papier, presque. Comme du papier. C'est génial. J'adore quand tu as fait tout en haut avec le triangle. C'est pas en zinc comme tu peux avoir sur le château. Oui. En fait, là, tu le vois pas, mais t'as un côté qui dépasse de 7 cm comme ça. Ah. Et comme la pluie tombe droite, oui. un peu en biais, oui. l'arête est toujours étanche. Et ça cache effectivement tous les défauts de la menuiserie. <rire> de la charpente. De la charpente. Ça cache la misère. Il n'a pas entendu. Si, si, j'ai entendu, mais je réponds pas. Tu me dis si tu veux que je t'aide. Non, non. Non, puis je sais pas si t'as remarqué. J'avance plus vite quand tu parles. <rire> Ça 
Benoit, our carpenter, has left for another job. To be fair, he was supposed only to come and help me draw the house. He ended up working here for three days. There's still some walls that are not entirely complete, but it's just a matter of measuring and cutting, and I'm known to be very good at that. 42. 42. Mais qu'est-ce qui se passe Vous n'êtes pas censé d'être là On vient de donner un coup de patte, mon bono, parce que sur le chantier où on avait prévu d'aller, c'est ingérable. Donc. Euh, qu'est-ce qui se passe sur le chantier Attention de me faire chier, donc je vais venir là. Oh bah c'est une excellente nouvelle. Hein oh, regarde, on est beaucoup, eh. beaucoup plus haut à trois. Oh, ouais. On est beaucoup plus haut à trois. Ouais. where I went to one of my favorite little haberdashery shops and I picked up some fabrics. And I'm thinking of making some curtains for the cabin out of this little striped fabric. I think they will look really cute. And then I've got a bigger pink stripe, which I'm gonna make a little tablecloth for the table. And then I think maybe some cushions. I've got a very cute little cotton here. So I think I might add a little bit into my bunting that I've got. So I've got a couple of different colors. I'm going to add some, some of this floral one in and make some cushions as well to make it like really cozy and I think it's going to be really cute. All the carpentry is done. There's some little details still to do like the windows and the doors. But Benoit has finished. He helped. Je vais parler de toi. Viens, viens manger. Regarde là. Tu vois l'image Ça c'est toi. C'est comme un miroir, mais ça te filme en même temps. C'est incroyable. Je sais que tu as une chose similaire à la maison, c'est la télé, mais c'est en noir et blanc chez toi. Oui. Et aujourd'hui, oui, oui, c'est en couleur. Oui, je suis désolé. C'est vrai. Bon, Benoît, un énorme merci. Avec ton aide ici et là, j'ai pu faire quelque chose de merveilleux. Enfin... Attends, je n'ai pas tout compris là. Tu es en train de dire que c'est toi qui as fait le travail <rire> Aïe Aïe Oh, ah C'est trop beau <laughs> now, completely on my own, I have exactly one day left to build windows and doors. Maybe one day we will install better ones with glass panes, but for now, shutters will do. I am pretty happy how the door turned out. I don't want to say I am proud of myself, pride is a sin, but I'm very proud of myself. And one more thing, I think it would be fantastic if Lily would get a key for her house. And look what I found in the attic. A very old key. Isn't that beautiful? It's obviously not a good idea to film from above, especially if you have a hair condition like I have. Doctor says it's temporary, it's trash related. It's to do with the renovation, the children and the wife to some extent. Ziggy, come here. Come here. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, Ziggy. Where's that coming? Stupid dog. Okay, it took me a while. But now, look, between the door and the window, I think we have a good, a good look. I'm really happy. I'm installing the third and last window, and I must tell you, that is the Best one so far.
And dogs are not allowed in your restaurant. Oh no, because they're not cool. Ziggy, come on. So what would you like? Pizza? Yes, pizza Yes, pizza would be fine. Mmm, delicious. Thank you. Cuckoo. <laughs>